Off the camera. Um, yeah, we're drilling and it's wet. That wet. It looks like the Battle of the Somme at this point. There's a bit of a... Um, there's a bit of a spring here. I'm having to really lift up the drill just to get through. I could go around it, but you know what? It's not like I'm going to get a chance to drill this again. We've run out of time as it is. Oh, 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 okay, we're getting stuck. No, we're not, no, we're not, no, we're not. It's all right, we've made it, we've made it. Oh, we're through, we're through. Right, let's put that back down. Hey, Chris, how we doing? It's also very wet in this bottom here as well. We started the live at probably the worst point in the field, to be fair. This is where the springs <coughs> ended up pooling up. ERH services, hello. Yeah, it was fairly close, like, it was fairly close. Let's get that up. Pushka. We'll spin this round. Just attacking that downhill for the moment. Do do do. How's your day been, Joe? Good, thank you. Um, somebody said about the CHC nav. I've um, I have used it for ages. I'm on the I'm on the uh, auto steer on the deer in there. I am. Let's have a look here. Oh, thanks to your RH services. Appreciate that. So yeah, we're just um, we're on the uh, the drive in here. Chris meant go. Okay. We're drilling. That's what we've got on the back. We are using forty six. Uh, no, no, forty four liters per hour at the moment. We're really pushing it on. We are, we're really pushing it and um, yeah I'm going to try and get plenty done this evening have you ever tried the new 6R uh, I've not no Alex says how are you doing Joe got you on in the background I was trying to pull out yeah it's terrible isn't it how's the drill since you had it How's the drill since I had it, says Aaron. Um, it's been all right. Like we've had it forever, it seems. But yeah, it's a good, um, it's a good thing. In fact, let's just, I could turn it round like that. And then you could see, see it working, couldn't you, maybe? If I put it in the slot, like that. Is that better? sort of see what's happening I might be able to read it a bit better oh what's that what's that say what time did you start seeding today says Henry um, it was before dinner I got feeding up done I'd say probably about 11 o'clock something like that maybe yeah something like that I'd make me sandwiches and what have you all that sort of thing and um, yeah get out of here doing something Trying to get some crops in the ground. Right, we're getting to the end. And go! And I've turned round wrong on the top. Just seen somebody walking the dog and that put me off for some reason. Um, so yeah, normally I wouldn't back up like this, but anyway, that's what's happening. And then we're going to get off down the field again. Just give me a second, I will read your comments when we get this uh, back onto auto steer. I'm going to sneeze, I think. <coughs> yep, I am. Right, we're working, we're working, we're on auto steer. Not that over to the side, but jobs are good. In. Change that, put it to the front here. That's alright, everyone. 
feel like we've got gone all loose. Uh, have I got some snap with me? Uh, I did have some snap with me, uh, but I've ate it all. I've just got one drink left. Four meter combi would cost a lot more money, but over time you would not make that back in less diesel, less time and labour. Oh, it's somebody saying, would I make that back? Um, possibly, but yeah. the only thing I'd need, I'd, right, let's flip this around. So, I have a toy with the idea, I'd love a four metre folding drill. Like, that'd be the dream, right? But it is an absolute, an absolute fortune compared to three metre. We can't travel, so you can't travel down the road really with a four metre. You need like a, an escort, and basically what you've got to do is you've got to drop it off the tractor onto a load and, and get to your field, put it on, to then do your drilling. In this field here, I can get it done in the day with a four meter. Okay, I'll probably get it done a bit quicker. But then you've got all that messing about, changing stuff. Most of our field sizes are quite small. The down roads, so we're having to stick with. Oh, can I go for the wet bit again? Will it manage it? Oh, it's dried out a little bit. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, I think we've got to stick with three meter on what we're doing at the minute with our acreage and stuff because it's um, I'd, love, I'd love to be doing a bit more you know anybody's got a spare few hundred acres just kicking about you know as as they have um, then uh, people don't have spare it doesn't happen um, oh, yeah that's a bit of a for a bottom hand it um, yeah there's a uh, yeah, I'd like, I'd like to, I'd love to be running fog tracks and stuff like that, but we just not got the land, so it's, uh, it, and, I, and I can't see that ever really changing. So we just have to stick to our quite, quite big, 215 is quite a big tractor, isn't it? It's overkill really for a three meter, three meter combi power harrow, but Tell you what, it lets me do 12k all day. Uh, right, let's read some of these comments because I feel like I'm neglecting and just talking. Chris says, Joe, what hours do you work or does it all depend on what happens throughout the day? Yeah, to be fair, Chris, <clears throat> just just whatever happens really. Um, so usually I work every day and which is seven days a week. And I think looks like the camera's mucky for some reason. Um, yeah, and then usually we work like 8 till 5. But like now, what time is it? Oh, it's nearly 8 o'clock. So I started, at, I started at half past 7 this morning, or just before half past 7. And it's 8 o'clock now. So, and it'll be maybe, I don't think it'll be 9 o'clock. It might be half past 8 by the time I've drilled this uh, bag of seed out. Yeah, however long it takes, I suppose. It's not really a job though, is it? It's like farming. Factory reset done and it's on its way. Oh, sick! So, I've got a present coming from Peaky Blinders on YouTube. And um, I am buzzing for it, absolutely buzzing for it. Because it's something that I've wanted like forever. Forever, ever. Um, it's going to take a lot of stress out of uh, some of the things that we do. Can anybody guess what somebody is saying to me? Or we can even just say it. Thanks for doing the live, says Jack. No problem, Jack. Um, will you use a tri till again or just use a plough from now on, says Jack. No, we will use a tri till again. It's not, um, it's not completely relegated, it has its place. Um, it does let us get some land done quick. Uh, but, just not being very successful with such grass weeds when we've been using it, we've found. Oh, did you hear that? I didn't like that break, did it? You know what, I've done it again, I've done it again, I've done it again. 
Janet! Janet's on! Uh, Janet, I went past Gisborne the other day and you weren't in. Well, nobody was in to be fair. Uh, it was shut. I was, I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to have me, gonna have me uh, tea, Anna, at my lunch, sorry. In Gisborne Calf. Thought my mate Janet might be there. It didn't happen. Didn't happen, it was shut. So I went to Guy's Machinery instead. Dave, uh, have you ever tried feeding cattle with linseed nuts? I don't think we have. I've fed them linseed straw before, they absolutely love it. So linseed straw is like, um, you know like you get them old brushes? A real wiry brush, that's what like linseed straw is like. And you would think that they would not want to touch it one for a second. Cattle absolutely loved it. It almost looks like a good background that, doesn't it? That sky there. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, they absolutely loved it. Like we, we put it in and thought, oh, I'm not going to want this. They, they, they just kept eating it and eating it and eating it. Let's spin this round. You can see some countryside there, can't you? It's quite a good view from here. Uh, have you always fattened beef cattle or did you farm something else before since Jack? So yes, we've always I mean, we've had um, we've had suckler cows before. Uh, but then we sort of specialised in just finishing cattle. Uh, number uh, yeah, probably twenty odd years ago. We thought, uh, no. We're getting on towards twenty years I bet since we've had the we had some of cows on the farm. Um, we only had sort of maybe 20 or something like that. Uh, you know, it wasn't a big operation. Well, it wasn't a big operation in the beef finishing either, so. Um, yeah, so we, we got rid of them. They specialised. But we did have had some sheep in that before. Only like five or six. And I've, I've had chickens, that was the first business that. Selling eggs at school. Andrew, evening to you. And also, is that Dave? Dave says the linseed nuts are from pressing with oil. Yeah, no, um. Oh, did you feel that? Did you feel that? That is a rough hole, is that? Jeez! Like it's in a concrete wall. Anyway, that's that block. Hopefully now we shouldn't have too many more wet holes. Is the old it's a fingers crossed moment. Right, now let's get a set up here. We're gonna have to have to turn lights on in a minute. Pop that now. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I used to, my first ever business was selling eggs, right? That was, that was me and Ben at school. The, uh, the, kids, the kids who sold eggs to, like, the teachers and uh, parents and things like that. Yeah. I, well, I'm talking, like, when I was probably, maybe Ed's May's age, maybe a bit older. Yeah, it's worth eating chickens and collect eggs. They're quite nice, really. Probably ought to get some from kids. Only thing is, though, with like the, the farm, we haven't really got anywhere to have chickens. At the old farm, we had like little stables, and it, you could put 20 or 30 chickens in, and you, you were away, sort of thing. But we don't really go anywhere after build a chicken hutch or something, wasn't it? Uh, Do you still hear much from Andy on the log cabins? Yes, so Chris, um, <laughs> bless, bless Andy, he's put down all these um, like black, uh, pan, uh, what would you call it? grids, I suppose, grids you'd call them, for a car park, just put all these grids down, and I think the idea is, you put them down, you pin them down, and you put soil over the top, and you grow grass, 
Well, because of this plastic pad's there, you can run cars on it and it doesn't churn it up. It, it takes the weight of the vehicles and stuff. Um, I've seen it done and it, 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 it's good. But, Andy's put it down. He's not put the soil in yet, but he's pinned it down for me. And it looks all tidy. He said there's a picture it looks fantastic. But anyway, with the wind that happened last week, it's gone back down to the side this, this time. And there's just, it's just blown it everywhere. So he's got to spend all that time putting it all back in. So I don't think he's very happy about that situation. Because uh, a lot of work went into doing it. But, but yeah, he's uh, it's alright. I spoke to him the other night. He's uh, doing good. Yeah, normally I do like a big run. This is what I mean, I'm talking to myself here. Normally I do like a big run so I can uh, so I can turn round easy on the end. I've now got loads and loads of seed. I don't want to start leaving a gap for when I've finished the field. If anybody knows what I mean. Yeah, he's a good uh, he's a good guy, he's on good. Oh, Henry says, am I going to Tractor Fest this year? Henry, I'm not going to commit to anything. <laughs> because this year is turning into a nightmare, isn't it? Um, who knows what it will be like when it gets round to Tractor Fest. So, I have been the last couple of years. I've found time to go. And, you know, chances are I'll be there again. Because I know John Deere will be there. And, um, and all the crew, so hopefully, yeah, but I won't be committing yet. <laughs> I don't know what's going to be happening tomorrow, let alone uh, that far down the line. I know I'm going Essex next week, I do know that, that's booked in, that should be alright with AHDB and um, Charlotte Ashley and um, Rebecca Wilson, uh, Baldy's Baldi's farm. Anyone checked him out on YouTube? So that should be good. Should be good crack. Doing like British Beef Week, they're uh, doing some luxury and uh, cooking displays and stuff. Right, I'm getting um, I'm getting vibe now. I'm getting the vibe out. There we go. Five orange zero sugar too good for you. Um yeah, I'm thirsty. This is my last last bit of food or drink that I've got in the cab. So I'll have that. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Enjoyed the Poland video, it's crazy how many farms are that close to it. I know it is, isn't it? It's, uh, it's bizarre how they're, uh, how they're all set up. It's like, if my farm were in Poland, each shed would be a, a different, have a, have a different owner, wouldn't it? But it's quite nice. Because there's a bit of community, isn't there? Community. You can see why. Now I'm not. I, I am completely out of the protesting bit. I have no this way or that way. Like I'm, I'm on the fence. I'm completely on the fence, and I'm happy to be on the fence. Right? But you can see how they get um, banded together to 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 protest for things. Because they're all in the same village. Like. You soon, um, you know, if you decide you're going to go and do something, you just nip round to your neighbours and see if they fancy taking a tractor. And away you go. Uh, 
No, thanks, farming Ellis. Appreciate that a bit. Um, someone said that I'm going great egg custard. I probably will be doing, let's face it. Probably will be doing. I need to have a chat with I need to have a chat with Janet. I need to bring her. Sort the job out. She was talking about some assault courses some of them last time I spoke to her. Who oh, knows what's happening there? But no, that'd be fun. Good, it's a good show, it's great, it really is. Well, I think that sun's gone over the horizon, we've got some geese flying about at the minute. I can also pick out a lot of flies, so I imagine uh, as soon as I get out of this cab I'm going to be attacked. Uh, who's that, Lee? Oh, someone says... Oh, Joe, will you marry me? Says uh, Lou. I can't, unfortunately. So, uh, one, I don't think Becky would be too happy. And, and, and two, I don't think it'd be legal because I'm already married. So, unless like, uh, what, where is it where they, where they have like multiple um, wives or husbands? Is it in Dubai or somewhere? It's all out there. Is that a phone mast? It is, it is. Uh, how many years do we think we'll keep the 210 for? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, you know. It's like, what goes next? Is it the... Uh, is it the 210? Is it the 6930? Uh, probably a bit... Probably a bit 9 metre JCB, but... Like tractor wise. Um, what will go next? Uh, let's put a, tra we'll a tram line in. What's my favourite tractor, says that country lad? <laughs> one wife is enough, says Richard. <laughs> yes, you are right there, uh, one wife is enough. Um, my favourite tractor. Do you know what? When this tractor came, this one that I'm on. I said, oh no, I'm not, I mean, not really like this, not really like that. And I was moaning, weren't I? I was moaning. What's my dad bought this tractor for, do you remember? And you know what? I love it. I think it's, I think it's fairly good, like. Although, it is annoying me. And if there's any, if there's any um, John Deere experts, right? I've got my eye tech on. Is it well? First of all, is there any experts that are good with knowing everything about John Deere's and Command Arm? Hey, Ashley. Ashley, old no, he'll know. He'll know about John Deere's and Command Arm. I'm going to. I'm going to talk you through some of. Right, when I've finished me pop which it's nearly done um, I'm going to talk you through and show you something and then see if we can get some answers I think I need to show you a bottom field anyway right that's done right if you're in hey this is a thing if you're in your cab right and you've drunk your you drunk your thing I, I, I always do this, me. Knock it up. No. Unsuccessfully. Watch this. Because I find if you leave them normal, and they rattle around everywhere, but it's quite hard. It's happy days, isn't it? Right, right, right. So, let me show everyone now. Right. I'll press I tech. Drill down, yeah? So, back arms go down, front arms go down, PTO on, and then we put the uh, the engine to the right revs, right? Okay. Drill raise, goes up, goes up, 
revs knocks, knocks off the PTO. Happy days, right? So remembering that that is the sequence, that we've got the, the, um, the front press going up and down. <clears throat> right. When I come to the end, though, and I press my iTech to lift it up, it does lift up the front press. But when I go back in to drop it down, my front press stays up in air. It's not dropping it down. So why is it doing that? Why? I don't know. I'll show you. I'll show you when we start. Every time I'm to manually put down the front press, the front arms. Is there an expert on you? Tell me. I'm looking at you, Ash. I'm thinking Ash has spent way too long in these tractors playing with, playing with the... Uh, bits and pieces. Right, so you'll see now, when I come to the end, pressing it to go up, it's lifted it up. Yeah? Happy days, that's what we want. That's how the programming says it's doing it. Yeah? Helps if I go right way, John. Helps if you go right way. Thinking too much about you. Are you alive still? Yeah, yeah, I'm still alive. Still alive and kicking. Um, right, so you ready, you ready, you ready, you ready. We're nearly there, we're nearly there again. We're nearly there. So, I'm going to get myself set, set up. We're going forwards now. Come on, come on, come on. Right, so now I'm going to press. I've pressed iTech to go down. And look, it's still up in air. So then I have to press it manually to get it to drop down. Hang on. Is there an active custom? Right, so active custom, so we have to press that one, isn't it? Yeah? So I'm having to use that one to drop it down. Mr B knows what's up with it. Are you going to say it ain't got no gas in it? You have not set the spool right. What, right, okay. So we go to um, Hitch. No, it's rear hitch, isn't it? Okay, let's go back. Rear hitch. Front hitch. Single acting. That's how I want it, isn't it? Put the spool in float, right? It's not in float, so I'll put it into float. Right? Then we'll see what happens at the other end then. Okay? Just give it some speed so we get there in time, Joe. Come on. Boom, let's do 12k. So I'll put that back on there, and then when we get to the end, we'll see if we if Mr. B, because Mr. B, he does know his stuff. Yeah. We'll see if it works then. Uh, who else we got? Booth. One life to the next. Mr. B, he should come down. Yeah, he should come down. You forgot where I said I was. Can you not see? Mr. B doesn't use high tech though. Well, what do you use then? Oh, get down. Down, boy. Could do with a bit of polish on that bonnet. You right? <gasps> right there it's got um it's got dust protector on it the, the dust that's on it's protecting it mr b uses his fingers uh roof's watching us from the east coast south of the river the river umber what are you actually just from cleethorpes 
Right, so we're going to get to the end. Press high tech, it lifts up. Happy days, that's what we've asked it to do in the programming. We've got it in float. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's see. Everybody's eagerly waiting to see this now. Nearly, 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 nearly there, guys. Nearly there, nearly there. Right, so let me just get straight because we've not, I've not given myself much room really. Because, like I said, I'm trying to keep it fairly tight. Let's go. Press it down. You rev up. It's not gone down, Mr. B. I sort of already knew it did not do that. So it's still been a pain. I also want to know, right, why my variable steer won't come back on. It would do if I turn the tractor on and off, I think. For some reason it doesn't. That pains me as well, because at the end it's quite nice to have the variable steer. It's quite a cool feature. Um, Right, well, that's everyone up to anyway. Mr. B, have you finished for the day or something? You can put it in float on the control setup. Oh, Ash, now you're talking. Now you're talking, right, okay. So I'm guessing, do I do that on the. Try the time, change the time. Change the time. Oh, the, oh, you mean like the one one meter thing? Is that what you mean? The item buttons for arms don't work. Uh, don't work when the arm lever is in float on our 195 so probably on the same as yours. Gardener's world with the other says Pete. Is Mr. B gonna be make an appearance? Who knows, eh? He might pop in. I can't believe he doesn't know where I am. I think he does. I'm on that lane! He, he, he must know. I, I ain't got that many fields to not know. Come on, Mr. B, get him sorted out. Um, to be fair, my friend Lizzie said thanks for talking to her on the tractor run. Not a problem. How many hours have we put on the 215 since we got it? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it came with. Maybe 400? I'm not sure. I don't like to give it too much work because um, it's, busy in, it's busy in summer doing the bailing. It's busy doing the drilling. That's about it, really. There's a bit of carting, I suppose, don't it? But I try, and, if I can, to put most of the carting onto the 210. Just um, me and the old tractor. Try and keep the hours off this one. Uh, would you ever buy a combine and go contracting? Uh, no and no. I'm not saying never buy a combine because you know what, like if let's put some lights on. Uh, make the camera worse, doesn't it? Um, if uh, you know, if I won the lottery, I'd get a combine. Yeah, I would. But from a business sort of point of view, I don't think it's. I don't think it's a good idea to get one, personally, for what we do. 
for our increase. So, I mean, having a contract to it, getting Tom to come in, do a, do a bomb lighting for us, um, makes sense because we've got that extra person driving the combine and we've now got to maintain a very expensive, very expensive depreciating asset, which is the combine. So, um, yeah, I'm quite happy not, not to have one really. If I'm to be honest, I was nowhere getting on, Joe seems hard working lad. Yeah, he's doing alright, he's nowhere. Would you ever, but oh, that's sad. Um, it's, um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get busy soon, aren't we? We've got all this, uh, all this drilling doing now, which I'm happy really that we've, we've carried on a bit this evening because I know tomorrow I've got a few more fields to do with, you never know. One day we might have all the drilling done, then I'll have some spraying to do, we'll have fertiliser to put on. Um, we're plenty happening and I'm going to Essex as well, so next week's going to be busy. like three hours down to Essex, you know. That's that's a lot for me in a car. So I think you're still not you're still not going down much to imagine. It's what I've been doing all day, so you know what? Whatever. Uh, will I last out with seed for this live? Yeah well hopefully. Hopefully we'll be alright. Look like I've got, let's have a look, I'll show you what we've got in tank. That's what we've got in tank guys. So it's well over half with it gone. I don't, uh, I could start doing, doing headlands I suppose. How many bags of seed does it take to do this? Uh, I don't know, like five or something maybe? Yeah, smart. Like four, five. Yeah, five-ish. Five, maybe six. So we we are finishing the um, the long straight runs. Looks like this is actually going to be the uh, the last one. And then in this corner here, it goes down on an angle. And these are all short bits. But I've done the very short bits in the corner over there because I was waiting for my dad earlier because I knew that I was going to be waiting for seed and I was getting low I thought I'll do all the bits where we have to do lots of turning round when I've got less weight in and that takes time so I thought right we'll do them while I know I'm going to be waiting for the seed so got them got them ticked off the very short ones but still got these others to do um, where we are now. So I think I'm going to have to put some lights on guys. No, we've got everything on. All the lights are on. We're away. Yeah, we're off. So what's everyone had for the tea? Because I have had nothing. I've had, well, I've had it, I've had it that long, I know. There you go. Oh, that's fine, yeah? Oh. Oh. So it's on fire. So it's on fire. No. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what that is. Burgers, chips and onion rings. It looks like a proper fire that though, doesn't it? Oh yeah. That's a proper fire. 
whether it's a car or something, I'm not sure. Hmm, anyway. Could be out down here. I hope I'm going to finish it before bedtime, doesn't it? I'm, uh, yeah, I think I might leave the headlands until tomorrow when the light's out. No, I'm, look, I'm not going to call it in because uh, there's literally loads and loads of houses around it, so I can't see if it's just somebody having a fire in the back garden or whether it's like someone actually got on fire. So I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not worried that nobody else will uh, call it in. You've still got the birthday bumper on the window. I have, I've got, I have got it on the window, yeah. Beef, carrots, potato. Oh, pudding, broccoli, great. Oh, that sounds nice, that. Oh, someone, Jack says, are ah, Snickers work, uh, work trousers worth the price? Um, I've got two pairs, and to be fair, what did I have? I had some, like, race revolution ones, right? And they didn't last two minutes. No crap. And so I thought, you know what, I'll buy these Snickers ones. And I do actually really, really like them. I think these are the, the ones that I wear all the time. The rough work, I think they're called, some of that. They're quite a heavy one, and they're good for they're good for like spring, autumn. In summer, they get a bit, a bit warm, but like you know that they're going to last for ever. Not well, not ever, but like yeah. I'm not sponsored by Snickers, by the way, or anything. I just, I just fancy, yeah. Sometimes I just fancy spending some money on some work trousers. They were expensive, but I wear them every single day, pretty much. I pretty much put them in washer at night and then wear them again. I don't wash them every night, by the way. Twenty-four people watching me do some drilling. Fantastic. I'm not saying you'll learn out, but somebody's had a KFC. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're expensive, Josh, aren't they? I can't remember how much I paid for them. I think I probably did pay about that ninety quid or something. But well, they are good in that they've got loads of pockets and I said I tend to need loads of pockets because I've got a battery pack, uh, someone else, my pens, my cards. They've cooked for you enough. I do my job. Oh, I probably ought to get another pair really. It's getting dark, isn't it? You fancy a different view? Do you want to watch out from the back? Oh, someone says there's only there's only a few likes on this video of 60. There's a high on here. Six, 60 odd people have all have pressed like. If you're on TV, I think you can. John Deere Mix told me you can even press t uh, like on TV somewhere. Remote, it must be. I've put it this way so that people can watch it on TV. YouTube now recommends that um, I do lives the other way, like vertical, but I think most people probably watch it on TV, so I'll put it this way. Oh, what's that? What are you watching it on? Well, yeah, it's a bit... Them that's watching on TV will be hard, to, be hard for you to comment, won't it? I'll hard it. Let's move this. Put it out back. Change the scenery then, isn't it? This 
Here we go, my old drill. Soldiering on. I'm a bit even, I'm a bit, I could even have it. Wow. Spin it round. Oh, 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 we're in a wet spot now, guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's wet here. Yeah. That's trouble when you're in dark, you can't see them coming. Do, 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 do. Oh well. Nearly. Yeah, I think, can you see? Let's give a look on that. Handling it though, it's handling it, it's handling it. it. Oh, we're saying here. Being a brutal spring. It has, it really has. I've not done one like this before. Right, that's what most people saying. Jake uh, watching on a screen in the tractor and commenting on my phone. Do I think I'd prefer it with auto quad? Um, not now. No, I, I quite, I quite like it as it is. Um, I do quite like using it. And I don't know if that's. I don't know what if that's because it, uh, it's got the auto steer built in on the John Deere, and it just works fairly well. Like, um, or if it's because of this joystick. Well, the joystick does sometimes annoy me. Well, I'm not really sure. But it is just. It's, yeah. Quite nice. I just need to learn how to use it all properly, I suppose. That's the thing. I've only just started learning how to um, put in the fields into the into the GPS and then save the tracks in the fields. Should make it easier for next year when I come and drill it. Tramline markers. Got a tramline here. 
make sure we're still on that. Okie dokie, drop in. Drop that down. We're away. <coughs> we are, we're, we're, we're away. in the bottom of this field and that's full of them I've seen it never I did some digging in it um, nearly uh, to stop stop it's a racket then brakes um, to, uh, to stop the quad bikes and motorbikes driving in it They've already been here though, by the looks of it. top of the field, that's the blue bit that I've done, that's the blue bit that I've done, the bit in the top, and then I've got the outsides to do, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't make it out, um, but the seed that I've got left is drastically dropping, I think I'm going to be in luck, and I'm going to be able to um, call it a night before attempting to go around the outside, which is good, I think. It'd be better going around the outside, because there's some wet spots. It'd be better doing it in the in the uh, daylight tomorrow. It's going to stay dry, and I'll be able to get the, all the bits that need doing and stay out of the bits that are going to be too wet. I think that's a sensible thing to do. I do. So, let's have a look, see what people have been saying. The legend Mr. B in the house. What's his flashing 8-8? Eight eight? So that, uh, when it flashes 8-8, eight eight, that's when I'm putting tram lines in at the back there. So my pre-emergence markers are coming down and it's shutting off some of the cultures on the drill and not letting seed through so that when um, when the crop comes up there'll not be seed in them, them lines and I'll be able to see where I need to drive with the tractor tyres huh? do you get it? do you get it? so that's the sort of thing that when if you remember Clarkson's farm and he left the tram liner on he left it on 8 and 8 or whatever it is on the has he got a clay I can't remember. Um, there'll be some other kind of uh, electric wizardry box to uh, to do it on there, I'm sure. But he'd left it on. Uh, how many litres an hour? We were using like 45 litres an hour of uh, of diesel when when we got a when we got a going at 12k. That's what we were using really pushing it up this hill. No, it's alright Philip, it's, it, it, it needed a full explanation didn't it really, because um, it counts you see to 8, so it goes through 1 to 8, and uh, yeah when it gets to 8 it puts it on. And it's quite confusing because that's 1 to 8, but John Deere counts it as 0 to 7. So, um, when I first went drilling with this tractor and I was using the GPS on the, uh, on the deer, I put 8 
and then I'd, yeah, I'd messed up the drum lines basically. So. My bad. You learn from your mistakes, and I know now not to mess with it. But uh, right, anyway, I think I'm going to live, guys. So we've been on for nearly an hour now. Uh, Mr. B is looking for you, Joe. Is he? How do you know that? That'd be funny if we get to see him, actually. Where's my... Oh, my thing's there. Uh... Um, right, I'm going to go, then. If Mr. B is looking for us, if he does turn up, we'll come back on live, okay? We definitely will. Right, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Um, massively appreciate everyone who watches the channel, by the way. Like, I, I, I do say it quite a few times, but... I really do mean it, like, especially the guys that watch the lives, because I know that you're the other ones that are, like, really rooting for, um, for, for keeping the channel going and stuff. So, um, yeah, thank you very much, is what I want to say. Thank you. Right, I'm off. See you later. Bye.